Welcome to the Double Stuff Podcast, where double the hosts, double the topics, and double the fun. I'm Sarah. I'm Charity. And I'm Alan. And here we are, once again, everybody. <laughs> um, actually, I'm not quite sure what we're going to talk about today, because I am relying on Charity. That's I right. hold the power in my hands. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. <laughs> and she's going to randomly pick two topics, and we'll we'll figure out what we're going to talk about Drawing here. time, folks. Okay, so topic number one is your dream house. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, ooh. Ooh. Okay, and topic number two is, if I can open it, online versus in-person shopping. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Those are great. Um, let's start with shopping, okay. actually. So, I had forgotten about this. Last week, we talked about how you like to relax. Yeah. Funny enough, I actually find going grocery shopping relaxing. Me too. Yes. Me too. Me too. Yeah. So, okay, it's nice. And, we, we, often, <laughs> we, and we often run into each I other. I know. Yes, we see you all the store. time. Like, yeah. So sometimes I don't know if I really need to get anything. I just kind of want to. <laughs> I think I'm, it's that FOMO because you're like, something might be on sale and mm-hmm. I'm going to miss it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we always check the clearance section where always. the major specials are at Dylan's. Thank sure. you, Dylan's. Yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah. Dylan's. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just got four creosote uh, logs for like five bucks a piece. Oh, yeah. From the clearance. Very nice. Oh, not do you yeah. Guys, do you even know what that is? Yeah, that that's that's in the fireplace. Uh huh. Yeah. The, do you know the, what it does? That's it cleans out the chimney. Yes. Yeah. Hey, wait, I know. wait. Which Dylan's did you go to? Because I was I was there yesterday. Okay. Obviously. I missed it. Yeah, See, that's he, what he I was took, saying. He took them all. He took I'll, <laughs> I'll sell you one for fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alan. We, we have we have black market Alan over here. I know, man. <laughs> Going into business yeah, for yourself. I'm saving you five bucks for buying a new one. <laughs> yeah, but I it, it, weird story. So I've mentioned this, especially during the first few seasons. Um, that I had gotten really sick. It was in the hospital, going through all that. When I finally got home, and I was like almost on bed rest for a lot of it. I I felt like the only part of my normalcy was going to the store mm-hmm. at the time. So after I got home from the hospital and I was still just now starting to walk around and stuff, I was like, can I go to Dylan's, <laughs> please? Like, that was, it was weird. That was the first thing I asked. Sure. I really wanted to go to Dylan's because I figured if I did that, I could have some normal seat back. And so I asked my mom, I was like, can we, can we go, to, go to Dylan's? She's like, okay. And I, I literally burst into tears crying. Sure. Because I was like, I get to do something I enjoy. I have the energy to actually get in the car and get there. I mean, I had to drive in those little stroller, not stroller. Stroller. What are they called? The scooters. The scooters. scooters. Yeah. I don't know why I call them a stroller. That's kind of how I felt being in them. <laughs> I've never liked those things, but there's been a few instances where I've had to use it. But it was just nice just going to the grocery store. Yeah. I, I enjoy that a lot. Yeah, it's it is comforting and I don't know if you guys experienced that but uh, or this, but when they changed everything in uh, your Dylan's. How frustrating I, was that? Yeah, because then you're They're walking around. With my I know, <laughs> and I'm everybody's anxious. walking around like, yeah. I can't find it. Yeah, yeah. And every every few years, it's almost like it's almost like at home when when the housewife is like, I'm getting tired of the the the, the, the where where the the, the living the room looks. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna move everything around, and you get home, you're like, what what happened? Exactly. Where's my chair? You know, I don't know. I, I saw don't, I, I saw the memorized it yet. It hasn't. Well, it hasn't improved the efficiency of my shopping, so I don't. Well, some I of it doesn't make sense. Been the same sense. amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why? Why is this? Over I have here? no idea. But that's, that's the whole point: is to show you things that you typically don't see, and they're putting that stuff in the forefront. It's all strategic, like everything. I'm sure else. it is, but it's super frustrating for a, a dedicated villain's <laughs> customer. Well, yeah. last I don't know if it was last Christmas. I'll go or, to all these now. <laughs> <laughs> last Christmas or two Christmases ago, Walmart. I think because they were putting in a new floor or something, but Walmart yes, changed their yes. setup like every almost every other day, and it got to the point where the employees didn't know stuff, oh. and so you would you would see like employees as almost like a tour guide, them trying to look for the milk, and like six <laughs> people behind them like where's milk, you yeah. know, They're like your guess is good as mine. Well, man. and they yeah. also narrowed the aisles, and so okay. you almost couldn't push a cart down. So it's like yeah, yeah it's some weird like labyrinth, like okay. They move the aisles. I don't know where stuff is at. The employees yeah. don't know stuff is at, and the walls are closing, closing in. Yeah. That's interesting because I remember being at Walmart um, to get all of the Valentine's stuff for Valentine's Day mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. And, yeah, I had that encounter where there was another gentleman with his cart at the uh, – I turned into a, an aisle, and he was there. And we kind of looked at each other like, who's going to move? And I was like, fine. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll move because I just had come in. He was he was already like mm-hmm. in there doing some things. But yeah, you can't go buy them. Yeah. No. That's a that's an interesting segue. Me and Cherry talked about this. We we bring this up probably every few months out of however many decades we've been alive. But we <laughs> we talk about. Yeah, the navigation of shopping carts. Uh-huh. So we we were actually going to write a routine about this. Like, if you want to teach, you know, your your daughters are getting older. Once you, if they're they're going to be like, Dad, can you teach me how to drive? And it's like, sure. Hop in the car. You drive in mm-hmm. on a Saturday afternoon at the mm-hmm. height of busyness at Dylan's. If you teach them how to navigate a cart, they can drive anywhere. <laughs> uh, okay. Because if you think about it, some of those rules apply in driving. Sometimes it does help to stay on the right hand side. Yeah, you know. Look, make sure before you merge and get the milk and cheese on the other side. And then you do have to deal with like a bit of a traffic and bottlenecking of people. So it's almost like learning how to drive and navigate. Yeah. You know. Well, one of the things is frustrating too is it's not just carts anymore because of online shopping. Yeah, yeah. They have those giant blue like dollies with all the baskets on them that they're you know getting people's orders and you're like come on you know who's Mm -hmm. what what's the point you know are you are you wanting me to do this online Mm -hmm. i mean because because really is online truly online because you still have to have somebody to manually go and bring whatever supplies so you're still having to have someone with a shopping cart get the groceries as long as it's not you that's the thing i mean at some point it could be, you know, which I thought they may have this oh, like know, a virtual over, overseas. Kinda. Well, I mean, the only people that are in the shop is the workers. Mm-hmm. And so, like, you're you're not going to go in and get your stuff. So you can go online and say, hey, I want this, this, and this. And you could either do curbside or someone delivers it to you. So you don't walk into the store at all. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But now I sound, I'm going to sound like a grumpy old man. I'm a, I don't like it. I, I don't, don't like either. It. Especially yeah. with produce. Like, I, spe- I specifically pick out which bell peppers yeah, I want, which tomatoes uh, avocados don't pick them out for me i want to pick them yeah, with yeah. produce that's yeah. a good point you're at, you're at the mercy of someone if else. it's yeah. just something that's pre-packaged well it doesn't matter i mean hopefully they're not going to get one that's all busted up or yeah, something but you like don't that know until you get but it. yeah with produce you're kind of at the whim of whoever's picking it and mm-hmm. if they're just trying to go for speed they're not going to take the time to like find mm-hmm. the best tomato or yeah the the ripest avocado or mm-hmm. they're just gonna get a rock hard avocado you gotta That's wait true. two weeks to eat <laughs> by the time you eat it it's already it's brown and throw gross. It, yeah. yeah throw it yeah. away <laughs> and, oh. well and, and because waste of 17 dollars <laughs> 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 he, he's talking as if that happened recently. I know. I hear a little bitterness in your voice, Alan. <laughs> I'm not upset. <laughs> as he throws the microphone across the wall. Well, we talked a lot about like food shopping. Yeah. yeah. We, should we move on to like clothing and like other things? It's still, like, it's still shopping. Amazon yeah. packages. Because I will say for online shopping, like for clothing and stuff, yeah. I have had a fail every single time. Like Whether it's something to wear or even like athletic stuff. Um, I used to do kickboxing. So mm-hmm. I had like some shin guards and some, you know, equipment and stuff. And even that didn't fit. And so, like, I had to measure my shins and, like, my legs and stuff to see, okay, will it fit? And I look at the chart and I get my size and I ordered them and they were still too small. Yeah. Um, probably because they were, like, Asian sizes, which are a lot smaller anyway. But, like, I it usually takes Sorry, me about Asia. five or six. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but for real, <laughs> we need like a universal we worldly do, sizing it, chart. Yeah, if, if, we're, if, if everything is going to start going virtual and we can't try on clothes and we have to be like, well, th- it looks like it fits. Yes, there needs to be some kind of, there needs to be a universal measuring system, you know, for, for shoes, mm-hmm. uh, clothing, be, because it's true. You're These dealing are with things people I don't think about. You're okay. dealing with people of different shapes and sizes and some of that stuff. Um because because we deal with that like with irregular sizes it might say large but it's way too small and then you get something that's much bigger and then it actually fits the way a large would fit like there's there's a lot of weird irregular irregularities and so i I figured yeah if if everything is going to start becoming you know all computer based or virtual reality or whatever that needs to be addressed. Well, and you don't have time to be switching stuff out every couple of weeks just to get one outfit. Like, if, yeah, you know, if I need a, a dress for a wedding or something, I can go up to Ooh, the mall right now yeah. and get something instead of, well, let me go online I and order it and blah blah blah. It's you know gonna how, take like, too uh, long. Uh, not to cut you off. Well, I guess I am cutting you <laughs> off. Sorry, Cherry. But you know how um, Apple Plus 
it shows you all these different shows and movies that you can get, but not all of them are included with Apple Plus. So yeah. some of it requires that you have oh, like a extras. second. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were, were talking about that the, earlier. We were yeah. talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. And then there's a filter at the top that says free to me. That's uh -huh. that's the conversation that we were having on Friday. Okay, so if it's online, you do like a full body scan and just say things that'll fit me or something, and then it only populates like what it would be. Maybe that's it. I mean, I, I think know. I think some places have that. Okay. Um, like clothes. I, I think I see it more in like plus size or whatever because, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm a curvy girl and I own it, whatever. Sure. But I think you can put in your measurements and then it'll show you like, you know, oh, you want this and this and this. However, you also I will have to be accurate in your measurements. Yeah, yeah. In case you do something in centimeters, what it's supposed to be inches. Well, and you know, know sometimes you, you know, like at Christmas, you gain a little weight because you had too many yeah. Christmas cookies, and then sure. summer comes, you want to lose weight to fit in a bikini, whatever. Like, yeah. you gotta like remeasure yourself, and you want to try stuff on, and sometimes it fits, sometimes it doesn't. So, like for yeah. clothing, I still want to be able to try it on. I yeah. think it has to be something like that because I know that you can do that with like AutoZone. Yeah, you, you enter in your make and model and year uh -huh. and then it it'll show you what it is that you need for well, whatever part I, I you're looking for. I hope for. somebody gets on that quick because if... <laughs> I'm sure they're working on it. Yeah, but if everything is going the route that it is going, to be honest, they should have already been... This should already be a norm now. Well, but people, you know... Not we to, bumble through new Not to be a downer, though, but online shopping does cause people to lose their jobs. I mean, how many stores have we I seen know. that closed mm. because, you know... I mean, even if they had an online presence, you know, you could order online instead of in the store. Well, you just sort of shot yourself in the foot, didn't you? Because yeah. now nobody's yeah. going to come into your store. And so then, yeah. you know, people lost their jobs that way. Yeah, yeah th th there, there's a lot of pros and cons. The thing is, is that they're going to still do that regardless. Yeah, I, gonna, just, I just hope that they start that's faster, cheaper yeah. and yeah. smaller. I, I just I just hope that they're we'll able to fit to help the efficiency and actually make it good and not be like oh i shouldn't have done this let, let me make it good and not regrettable yeah. you know but years sense. from now when everything's online uh, exactly. and there's no more stores some little hipster business man's yeah. going to be like hey i know let's have a storefront where yeah. people yeah. can come in and shop and we'll yeah. be like wow yeah wow look and, at and, that and, 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 and be like yeah huh, back in my day yeah. all the stores were here we yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay grandma <laughs> <laughs> And they'll be looking like, okay, she's losing it. She actually has audacity to believe the stores are actually around. <laughs> so before we start all turning into curmudgeons and complaining about the, the future, good old days <laughs> before they've even happened yet. Yeah. Kids so, these days. Kids. Well, let's, let's start talking about, this is a bit of a fantasizing. Like what would be, you know, the other topic was our dream house. So if, if money was no object and you could live anywhere in the world and you wanted the ultimate model of a house whatever what what would you want it to be what would you want in it furniture style you know what what, what would you like to have well i guess we'll, we'll start with okay. the one that actually has a family that needs the home ownership <laughs> well even before start I with the man a with the mortgage yeah. and, a house and a mortgage i remember uh in middle school designing my dream house and Ooh, it was nice. awesome yeah right in the middle of like splitting the living room and dining room there was a wall and this was before, uh, or maybe it was right about the time when uh, a lot of restaurants, high-end restaurants were doing this as well. I was going to have a wall that was an aquarium, a saltwater aquarium. Oh, that's nice. fun. I've seen those. Yeah, but I hadn't taken any engineering, so that wall <laughs> would have been a load-bearing wall, which has probably been a terrible <laughs> idea just to have an aquarium. Water 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 water. Water. <laughs> exactly. With your piranhas just looking at you. would have crashed immediately. <laughs> Well, it would have been a huge mess, but yeah, yeah. that was that was my dream. Um, I can I don't remember much else about the design of that house, but I remember that was the that was the feature that had to be in it, and uh, so that well, was, that's that's actually something doable. Like if you wanted to try that now, just get a big aquarium in the house. Yeah, you can. Test yeah, they're out. very expensive. Yes, they are very expensive, and it's it's a con. Continual like expense. Saying, it's like it's, it's a lot of yeah. upkeep. Yeah. Yeah. I but feel see, like your dog might try to like break you're it. Or gonna, you're gonna come home one day. You're gonna see these fl fish flapping in the carpet, and the dog looking like, oh, don't ask me. I just stood here and fish just flew out. You know? yeah. I, I've uh, one of the I, I gave uh, my father on a Father's Day a gift. Gosh, years and years ago, I, I don't know how old I was, but it was the first aquarium that I think our family had ever had. 
And I, I remember putting a lot of thought into it. And I got the aquarium. I got um, a filter. And I, the idea, we were scuba diving at the time. Uh, that's, let me back up. We had scuba <laughs> dived several scuba sites okay. or, or underwater adventures at that time. We weren't scuba diving at the time when I bought it. <laughs> but anyway, it was something that we shared uh, a passion for. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, we don't do it anymore. Neither one of us scuba dive anymore. But anyway, I was going to be filled with clownfish. And this was before Finding Nemo. Ah, nice. So, I mean, it, I thought that it would be really cool. And it was, except for I didn't know what sort of elephant I was putting on my father with the maintenance and the expense oh. of a saltwater tank. Yeah. It is enormous. But Oh, man. So he, will you try to was, be a good son? He was so kind. <laughs> and he, never, he, he never said... This is an albatross that you put around my neck. <laughs> but I know um, just over the years, because all of those clownfish died, uh, and there were several uh, of other – it's, you know, maintaining a, a, an aquatic ecosystem is yeah. very difficult and yeah. costly. And he still has an aquarium uh, that the, the grand, his grandkids love, mm -hmm. and they love to feed the fish, and, and it's a lot of fun. But That yeah, was my favorite thing at the, yeah. the old doctor's office we used to go to. We were kids or the dentist. There was all, There's always oh, an yeah. aquarium. Yeah, yeah, and it keeps the attention of the kids until they have to go Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so that's like your main focal point, but like like what kind of style house would you have liked or what kind of furniture? Do you, do you, do uh, for me, you know? I've, ne I've never, uh, garages is, is important. I remember uh, when we were house hunting, there was a, a house in Park City that I really enjoyed because the garage was huge. Mm. Having a lot of garage space, a lot of uh, um, uh, space to work in a garage, that's pretty important. Um, now I know you. I know the house you have now is kind of a mid-century style. So you kind of. Yeah. I know you guys were talking about you kind of like that that style. Yeah. Of house. Yeah, and it's it's got a lot of mid-century problems that I have to attend to <laughs> all true. the time. But like, if would you like to have a? It wouldn't. It could be a modern house, but it could be like built in a '50s style with like the really crazy mod furniture and all. Well, I appreciate those. I, I, it's not really comfortable. It's, it's more not of a decorative yeah. piece. I, yeah. It's it's fun to like go to like um, Airbnbs that you know that have like really nice furniture and, and things like that. But I, at the same time, and I've I've known a lot of homeowners. Um, there, there's never a there there. You have to be, you know, happy with what you have. And, and yeah. at, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to strive for more. The other thing that I've learned, too, with speaking of a dream house, is that your dream house isn't your forever house. And so I do a show that deals a lot with seniors and downsizing and aging in yeah. place. And you got to take a lot of things into consideration, you know, in the last years of your life that perhaps your dream home just will not accommodate. So... There's a lot of things that go on in my head. <laughs> well, you're taking it from the practical standpoint. But I, I know. I, well, and I think that um, a, a dream house for me, I'm not looking for an infinity pool. I'm not looking for a cliffside view. I, I'm looking for practicality yeah. because that's just the state that I'm in right now in my life. But I like to go to those yeah. places. Those yeah. places are awesome to spend a week or mm -hmm. so yeah. at. What about you, Cher? I'm opposite of Alan. I want <laughs> yeah. that cliff side. Want that I cool. want, like, okay, there's, I think we've talked about this before, but there's different shows on Netflix where they show, mm -hmm. like... Extreme. Yeah, extreme, like the rich people houses, yeah. and, like, it, it's almost like something from well, a... let's talk about that, because I'm a downer when it comes to that. <laughs> so go ahead. Well, it's almost like something from a James Bond movie or something. Like, you know, they go to some cliffside house that mm -hmm. you don't even know what's there until yeah. you're right there but mm. then it's this huge like mansion size thing and it's got like big bedrooms and big furniture you know mm -hmm. um something that i want if we're talking about the one thing you want in a house i really like a big extravagant bathroom okay like, yeah. I, want, I want the yeah. big mirror lots of lighting i love a big walk-in shower i don't want yeah. the tub yeah. and the curtain hitting me in the legs like i yeah. want i want space you've seen those showers where it's almost like a rainforest. like mm -hmm. i want i want that experience you know we have like jets on all sides yeah and stuff. like i yeah. i think that's just fantastic you just and go I, in and spin around yeah. and then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen some some bathrooms where they've got like the jacuzzi and there's a yeah. TV in there so you can like, you know, relax and watch 
watch a movie or something and there's a little table on the side where you could have you know your wine and cheese or whatever when i was on tour um with the youth ministry that i was with we would stay at different people's houses in the city and so i forget what state we were in but the guy's house that we said he was super rich he had a home theater in his basement he was like the vice president of some car company yeah he had Mm -hmm. money but like he had like theater chairs and like a big screen and like a curtain and stuff and i was like i need (laughs) to be rich now now so yeah i want the big impractical rich person's house and i plan on getting that one day and i'm not ashamed about it oh no no no. we are are 100 (laughs) percent expecting that in my head i'm just like maintenance on the pool (laughs) no you get people for that yeah Yeah. no didn't you not now i have to hire employees (laughs) yeah i'm creating creating jobs yeah (laughs) maid service and pool boy is a cute pool boy that can (laughs) i can walk and sit on my deck chair and be like oh yes look at that handsome man (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. yeah, didn't we not learn this in the random Sarahville episode? If mo- <laughs> we're talking as if money was no object. You can't add the, the realism to it. Alan's gotcha. just like, well, I don't have to take care of it, but I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm coming yeah, exactly. over. I'll bring the brisket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, in that case, I'll, I'll allow you to come in. Um, yeah, mine, I don't know, mine is kind of a, a mixture. Uh, I, I do want to have the practicality of what an average house has and maybe just slightly elevated. Okay. Right? So, yeah, I'm all for having a nice size bathroom and I would like to have extra shower space. Sure. Um, I do want to have have honestly i fear i figure the most dance of, studio is that where you're leading up to oh a tap dancing studio yeah with the actually, big mirrors and everything actually i, I didn't think about it da- i was going to talk about studio space but that works oh too. like like a podcast like yeah like I, yeah. like I figure most of my house will probably be dedicated to media of some sort mm-hmm. so maybe one wing of the house would just be all i stayed at a house where the guy had his own recording company down yeah. there in georgia and i was like i want that too yeah because yeah. that way i can work whenever i need to if i need to do interviews and stuff with people i'll just like hey come over here we already have a set i don't have to be at the mercy of anybody so a lot of things my house it will work as like living and work okay. which i would totally be down for um i'm a big fan of um the art nouveau and the art deco style mm-hmm. i just think especially art nouveau is a very uh organic style mm-hmm. and i've i fell in love with that style about 10 12 years ago so i would like to have some of those elements like if you look at a lot of art nouveau houses their doors are like circular mm-hmm. or it's some oblong shape so it's not even just a tr- traditional door so it's kind of having something a bit on the unusual size like he's sarah's the one with the diamond shaped door you know uh-huh. like you, can, you can't miss it um <laughs> And I'm not quite sure if I want either a really big house or a mansion, just because some... I know that sounds really weird, but like you've you've been to big houses, but then you've been to mansions, and there is a difference, mm-hmm. like estates and that kind hey, of thing. Hey, go big or go home, man. That's true, because because <laughs> even part of me, even though I'm thinking like, oh yeah, and I'm like, man, I gotta vacuum all that. I'm like, well, no, no, no hire, hire people, hire a like, service, <laughs> cleaning service, hire the pool boy. Yeah, <laughs> I'll even have a pool, and I'll hire you. Know? Put a pool in, then hire the pool boy. <laughs> hire the pool boy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I would like um, for me, I just want a lot of uh, technological equipment and then I have a little area where I'm really comfortable where I can have the kitchen and all that kind of stuff but I'm just like you can divide your house in half one side is like for work and like you have your comfortable side that's just for you so your work people don't have to come to that side yeah which I've I've seen people yeah they actually do have their house kind of cut up in two and Mm -hmm. they live on the first (laughs) half and then they do stuff on this so uh, so I that's kind of like what I want and it's one of those things like if we want to get down deep into it that's like you know I haven't made a blueprint I know the closer you did was what you did in school but i've never actually like you know figure out how i want it to be constructed yeah well while we're yeah. online shopping on zillow oh, for a house you, right. that two yeah. together. yes i had to combine it we have to always combine I've our topics I've, I've gone through yeah. zillow i've done yeah. that too looking at houses mm-hmm. that i have no business looking at right now but you oh, no you definitely have business looking at it yeah. it's, it's window shopping for houses yeah for houses that have windows well, i've looked at stuff that's not even in kansas i'm like well, let's see what montana's got to yeah offer. yeah <laughs> That we could get some good, we get some good mountainous views. Oh, Montana is beautiful. That's I, true. I've been there a couple times. We'll have to have a topic on like the fifty states one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> be like, so which of the fifty you want? <laughs> so, but we're finally getting to the end, guys. But hopefully, you liked our random combination of shopping and houses, or shopping for houses, or however you want to put it together. If you want to find out more about our series, just check us out on our website at doublestuffpod.com. We're also available on all the different podcast platforms. Check us out on social media at Facebook and Instagram at Double Stuff Podcast. And on Twitter at Double Stuff P, and that's the letter P. So, so that's all. Awesome. <laughs>